What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, I'm Savannah and it's so nice to have you. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the new YouTuber tag. I am really excited to do this only because I am more of a deep connection kind of person. So surface level stuff just isn't always my thing. I love to talk about like makeup I like and products I like and the reason I like them, but I like this video just because it allows you guys to kind of get to know me on a little bit of a deeper level rather than if I were talking to you about like some conditioner I'm loving. So that's what today's video is going to consist of and I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a chattier one so I'm going to keep the intro short and just go ahead and get into it. I literally always get so out of breath when I'm filming because I am starting to realize I talk super fast so I'm trying to be mindful of that but bear with me. Number one, what is your name and the name of your channel? My name is Savannah, like I said, and the name of my channel is Savannah Bell. And the second question is, what does the name of your channel mean? The name of my channel is just my first and middle name. I really didn't put much thought into it. I wanted it to kind of just be simple, so I just kind of stuck with like my first and middle name just because I think it flows well and it's kind of cute. The third question is, where are you from? I am from Tennessee. I live in an area called Franklin, which is like super close to Nashville. So typically, I just tell people I'm from Nashville because most people don't know what Franklin is, but Nashville is obviously very well known, so I always stick with that. Question number four is why did you start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel because for as long as I can remember, I've loved watching YouTube videos. I grew up watching YouTube and I just kind of feel like every time I would watch the videos, it really sparked something inside of me that it was like, wow, that would be really cool if you did that instead of just watching people do it. I'm also like a very talkative person, so I was like, I kind of feel like I have a good personality for this kind of thing. And so that's kind of like where the interest started was just like growing up watching it and then in return kind of having that desire to make my own content rather than just watch other people. Question number five is what is your channel about? My channel basically consists of lifestyle, vlogs, stuff like that, but then also a little bit of fashion and beauty as well. I'm definitely no makeup artist, but I kind of like to show you guys a little bit of what works for me, just in case you guys are interested in that, and just because it's fun to me. And then I obviously am a girl, so I'm really into fashion as well. So if you guys have seen, I have a few try on clothing hauls on my channel as well, which are really fun. But I really just love lifestyle stuff because that's the kind of videos I watch. And I feel like the, type, the types of videos you watch is like the kind of content that you're going to enjoy creating and be good at creating. So that's kind of what I've stuck to. Question number six, who is your target audience? So I would say that my target audience could really be anybody because I remember being younger, like way, way younger, and watching like probably people my age. Um, but my main target audience would probably just be like girls that are, you know, in like the teen years, but also like entering, you know, adulthood. I think that that would probably be the people that would be most interested in the kind of content I put out there. So I'm going to go with that. But hey, if that's not you, I still enjoy that you're here too. Question number seven is, what do you hope to achieve with your channel? And I kind of took this one, because I've watched a few of these videos, and I kind of took this one a little bit in a different way. Um, so what, like this is obviously like a long-term goal, but I think something that would be really cool that I really want to do on my channel eventually is have a segment kind of i don't want to say girl talk because i don't want it to just be girl talk but a segment where people can kind of like email me text me message me on instagram whatever it may be just reach out to me with kind of stuff that they're going through and just want advice on but i obviously think that i would need a little bit more of a platform to kind of do that because it's not like people that like i'm not saying they wouldn't but it's not like somebody that you know, went to high school with me and so I'm like, hey girl, like I'm really going through this right now. Not that I want to appreciate that, I just don't think that I would get enough questions or situations to talk about right now. But I definitely want to have a segment where I kind of just like have people message me, you know, stuff they're going through and want advice on, or just like maybe need somebody to kind of uplift them with stuff they're going through. So I don't know, I think that'd be really cool because 
I've always enjoyed people coming to me for advice because I really like to help people and let them know that they're not alone. So that's kind of something I really, really, really want to be able to do on my channel. But I just don't know if right now is the time for it, but hopefully I do get to a point where I can do that because since I can't be a therapist, I would rather do that instead because it's kind of similar. Question number eight is who are your top three YouTubers? Number one would be Julia and Hunter. If you have not looked at their videos or checked them out, please do. It is a husband and a wife and they just do a bunch of like lifestyle videos. Julia will sometimes do makeup tutorials, clothing hauls with like tons of different brands like Boohoo, Misguided, so it's like super affordable stuff. Most about their channel is just because you can kind of see how they interact as a married couple and it's just like raw, genuine content, so they're definitely my favorite. Number two is Kenzie Elizabeth. She has a YouTube channel, but I also recently just found out that she has a podcast as well, which I just started listening to, which is really good. She is, you know, lifestyle, mainly all vlogs actually, now that I'm starting to watch more of her videos, it is like mainly vlogs. And then number three is, I don't know, it's kind of a, t actually no. Number three, I'll go with Jessica Howell because I like the aspect where she has like clothing hauls and beauty and she also has vlogs but it's like a healthy balance of all of that because that's obviously all the things that I'm really into. So as you guys can tell I watch people that kind of put out the same content that I am hoping to put out as well. So those are my top three and I will link all their channels down below just in case you have not heard of them. I literally watch them like all day every day. I don't even watch TV like those are the people that I watch and if I'm in the mood to watch like a movie or something like it's always a youtube video by one of them okay question number nine who inspired you to start a channel i don't think that there was a specific person that inspired me to start a channel but like i said a little while ago as i would just watch like more and more youtube videos i really just was like why don't you just do that and so I think just growing up watching YouTube and having an interest in the channels I was watching sparked me to start my own channel. Question number 10 is, if you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? I don't know, <laughs> I'm uh, having a blonde moment. Whenever they ask that question, I don't know if it's like what brand or what person, but I'm like obviously a very, very, very small YouTuber. And so, Honestly, I'd be open to collab with anybody, whether that be a person or a brand. I think anything would be cool. Sorry, not super interesting answer there, but that's just the truth. All right, question number 11 is three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. I'm gonna make this kind of quick. Um, I want this to be a place where you can come as you are and leave just a little bit more excited about life after watching videos of mine. Number two, I want it to kind of feel as if you and I are literally just hanging out as friends and like just being real with one another. And number three would, hmm, probably just to like whenever I watch YouTube videos, it really kind of inspires me. So I guess for you to leave a little bit more inspired, whether that be to like do a different makeup look, find a new brand, or even just try a new hobby. <laughs> really know I just want this to be a place where people can come as they are and just leave a little bit happier I think that's the whole purpose of creating content is just to inspire others and you know give them something to do question number 12 is which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like so I listed my three favorite youtubers just a few seconds ago in one of the questions and I would say that it's probably going to be very similar to their pages not in the sense of that I'm copying them but I am very into lifestyle stuff so I'm really into making vlogs and also like beauty stuff and fashion stuff so if that's something that you guys are interested in then that's what this channel is mainly going to be about so I would say it would be similar to Julian Hunter, Kenzie and Jessica like kind of like a mixture of those just because it's gonna be like lifestyle fashion beauty and then just like Basic life stuff that just like happens Question 13 is what is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? I'm going to try and explain this as Easily as I can what I really like about YouTube is that you can just be who you are 
because if you think about it, you're not going to subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video right now and you're not liking what I'm about. And that's totally fine. If you're watching this right now and you're not interested, then obviously I want you to click out and like find somebody else that you're interested in. But it just is kind of like a good feeling to know that if somebody is subscribed to your channel, then they actually like what you're about. They like what you're saying. They like the content that you're putting out there. So I think it just like allows you to be real and like put out what you want to put out and you're going to attract those like-minded people. So that's really cool. And then the next question is your least favorite thing about the YouTube community. Hmm. Maybe just that there are people that come on here specifically to put others down to kind of feel a little bit higher about themselves. Like I said, if you're watching this video right now and you're not interested and you're not liking, you know, what I'm about, it's so much easier to just like click out and watch something that you're actually interested rather than being like, you suck, you know? <laughs> That's kind of something I don't like. And that could go with like any uh, form of social media, just like bullies and people that, you know, aren't going to support what you are trying to do and put out there. So that's a big one. Question number 15 is what do you think you could bring to the YouTube community that isn't already there? This is kind of a hard question only because it's 2020 and YouTube, let's be real, has been around for a very long time. And there are so many people out there that like already have so much going for them and they've already like worked up so many subscribers and stuff. And so I feel like YouTube is just filled with so many different things that it's kind of hard to come on here with a different approach than most people because like I said I do want to do like lifestyle and vlogs and like beauty and stuff and there are so so many people that are already doing that but I think the thing that sets you apart than somebody else is just your personality you know like I'm gonna have a different opinion about something than somebody else would and therefore I'm going to kind of like act accordingly so I think just like being myself will set me apart I know that's probably a lame answer as well but that's kind of just the reality of it. YouTube is such a big thing already and there are so many people on here that it's kind of hard to come on here and do something completely different. I mean, there's freaking people eating glass. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. There's just so much content on here already that it's kind of hard to set yourself apart, but you just kind of have to be yourself and not go along with the crowd. You just kind of have to make it a little bit more you and I think that you're just, your personality will do that. Question 16 is three things we should know about you. Ooh, I didn't even realize that question whenever I was looking at the questions. Three things about me. Ooh, I know. So the first thing you guys should know about me is that I am just very talkative and weird and like kind of crazy. Like whenever I'm comfortable, I'm just like 100% myself. And I kind of don't really hold back, you know, I'm just fully me and you either like it or you hate it And I don't know if there's really any in between but I just have like a lot of energy whenever I feel my most comfortable So that's one thing The second thing about me is I said this like in the beginning of the video, but I really really like Having like deeper conversations and connections with people rather than like surface level stuff I would think that or I would say that I'm like a pretty deep person and I just want to have deeper connections with people rather than being like hey what's up what'd you do last weekend you know I like to talk about things that actually matter that's one thing and then the last thing about me that you guys should know is what would it be what would the last thing be about me oh the last thing about me is that I like to see a lot and sometimes I'll be talking and I'll literally like what I'm saying I'll make it into a song so that's fun. All right, question number 17. We're almost done guys. What do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber? That's kind of a weird thought to think like, oh my God, in five years, I could be like thriving on YouTube. Um, but I think that the hardest thing, and it's weird to say this now because I'm like, like I said, I'm such a small YouTuber, I literally have not that the matter numbers because I'm thankful for each and every one of you that already is subscribed, but whenever you have like such a little amount of subscribers compared to like, you know, your favorite YouTubers, it's sometimes weird to talk about something that hasn't yet happened, but I think it would probably just be, and I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but just like remaining who you are and not letting it change you and 
not like going around with the crowd and like doing things that like aren't really you just to fit in. Um, and I'm not saying that to the sense that that's what's going to happen if I became a YouTuber, but I don't know. I feel like you just never really know because you're not there yet. So I don't know. I'm just going to make that my answer <laughs> because I think that that's just the most relevant and that's the only thing really that's coming to mind. Question number 18 is what do you think the most, wait, what? Oh, question number 18 is what do you think the most rewarding thing will be? I think kind of just not letting the fear hold me back. So for a long time, I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I didn't because I was worried of like what, you know, the people around me would think and like what my friends would say and just like if people would make fun of me and I think that that I know that it's like a very normal thing to have those thoughts but it's very rewarding whenever you're like you know what it's it doesn't matter what three people have to say about me because as long as you're happy and as long as you're doing what you want that is so important in life and I just don't want anybody or anything to like hold you back from doing those things so it's very rewarding whenever you finally kind of put your foot down and say, you know what, no, I don't care what Susie is saying. I'm going to do this because this is what I want to do. That's very rewarding to me. Question number 19 is do yourself, <laughs> I cannot talk. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I sure hope so because this honestly brings me so much joy. I think filming and editing is just so therapeutic. And I even love watching videos on YouTube, so I would say that I do see myself doing this for quite some time. And the last question is, do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? I kind of touched on this a little bit before, but if you want to do it, I would say go for it. Because whenever you do stuff that you like, you just feel so much happier, you know? Even whenever there is fear, you have to kind of step into it knowing that this is uncomfortable. I mean, it's uncomfortable It's uncomfortable for me to like sit here and talk to a camera because it's not a normal thing. Um, but the more you do something, the more you are more comfortable and the stronger you become from it. So if you are wanting to start a YouTube, I would say just go for it, work with what you have, use your phone, and don't hold back because what others are saying. So my main advice would be just go for it, sis. Freaking do your thing. All right, you guys, that was the last of the questions. I actually really liked filming this video. At first I was kind of hesitant because I was like, I don't know the answers to the questions. And that's kind of why I answered them on the spot because I feel like that way they'd be a little bit more like real. But I loved filming this video. I hope you guys kind of had an opportunity to, to get to know me on a deeper level a little bit. And if you guys would like to connect with me on other platforms, then you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.